Good afternoon, and welcome to the appointment subcommittee meeting for the meeting of November 27, 2017. We have four items before us on the agenda. I will take them as they appear. The first, we have a, a clerical uh, change in uh, the first applicant. It's not 140 Brad Street Ave. It's 62 Crest Ave. Is 17-392, the appointment of John Lopes, 62 Crest Ave, to the Zoning Board of Appeals. John, please step to the podium and state your name and address for the record, please. After you hit that little button. My name is John Lopes, and my address is 62 Brad, uh, Crest Ave, Revere, Mass. Okay, can you just briefly say a little bit about yourself, John? Uh, hi, I'm uh, originally a resident of East Boston, lived in East Boston my entire life. Moved to Revere about 12 years ago, uh, acquired some property in Revere. And uh, what I do for a living now is I manage my properties in Revere, East Boston, and the surrounding areas. Okay. Any members from the city council wishing to speak? Council Vice President Patrick Keith. Well, thank you, Council, and thank you, thank you, Mr. Lopes. Uh, I'm just curious. I, I tried to do some research on you, and uh, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from people that may know you or have done business with you. But just out of curiosity, have you served on any other boards or, or boards of appeals like this, or any any building boards around the state? No, sir. Okay. A any uh, other uh, directorial or positions like that with your in the in the private sector or outside of? I know you 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 own some properties in the city. Uh, and, and they're well managed, but any, um, any, what, what about your business relations or what types of, uh, what do you, do you work for an organization? No, sir. You work you're for yourself? I work self employed. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Council McKenna. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Um, Mr. Lopes lives in my ward and I vote uh, in favor of this appointment. Thank you. Thank you. Council Marbido. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Lopes, what's your desire to be on the planning board? Uh, zoning Board of Appeals. Oh, zoning Board of Appeals. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong line. I apologize. I get involved with the city and uh, working with the community to better the city. And the city's growing and it's uh, changing, and I like to get myself involved. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other members of uh, Council John Powers? Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as you know, as you just stated, the, the city is growing. It's growing rapidly. And uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, projects going on in the city that uh, are helping that growth along. And uh, certain projects are good, and certain projects, uh, I think, are, are hurting the city now. And uh, you, will, you will definitely hear me uh, if you are, in fact, confirmed at, at your uh, board meetings, because I have a very uh, uh, deep concern for the uh, overgrowth uh, that's taking place in the city right now. So uh, I hope that uh, in any decision you make, you certainly would keep that in mind. Thank Sir. you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council. Any other councilors wishing to speak? Hearing, seeing none. I will add my words in. And John, this is obviously a very responsible position based on the fact that it drives the. Uh, conditions of our city in terms of growth and in, in, in development. And uh, it's a very important uh, piece of our instrument of getting our, our community back on track. Uh, we have to grow our city in the same token. We have to be mindful of the fact that residents feel that there's an overcrowding of, and congestion in certain areas, and we have to be attentive to that. But you, you, you know, once you secure the position, you have a heavy responsibility to do what's best for the community. And I think the mayor's made a wise choice in, in appointing you. The, uh, I will ask uh, in a few seconds a vote of the membership. I'll just go by hand. All in favor? All opposed? It seems that you'll be voted out favorably this evening. Uh, there's no need for you to stay in attendance if you don't say so desire to do so. Uh, I've been told uh, by the chair of the board. Zoning Board of Appeals, that there's a, a great need for your presence on the board for the meeting of Wednesday. So uh, I would ask that you stay in attendance, uh, and the mayor will be coming up shortly thereafter, and you meet with him uh, after we uh, vote tonight. It has to go to the council for a, a vote to hold. But once we vote, uh, you will be uh, eligible to be sworn in, How whatever arrangements the mayor makes with the city clerk. Uh, 
because we do need you on board uh, for the meeting of Wednesday this week if you're okay. confirmed this evening. Okay. Again, congratulations. Do a good job for our city. And thank you again, ladies and thank gentlemen. Thank you for your working with all of you. Thank you. Next is the appointment, 17393, appointment of Arthur Pelton, 26 High Street, to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Good evening. And this is as an alternate member. Arthur, you live in one of the best wards in the city. Yeah, very uh, happy to represent that ward. Thank and you. So uh, could you say a, a few words about yourself, sir? Yes, my name is Arthur Pelton, uh, born and raised in Charlestown, Mass. I've been now a resident uh, for about 10 years now in uh, Revere. Um, right now, officially living for the last three years at 26 High Street, as they so called the haunted house. Um, I'm currently working at um, the Massport Authority. Uh, I oversee um, the HVAC and the heating group. Uh, prior to that, I was a property manager of uh, Conley Terminal in South Boston. I managed all the containers. I also was involved with the community in regards to uh, whatever we had to do in regards to uh, building roads, et cetera, and, and, and waterways and things like that nature. Um, I'm also involved in the community um, board for Massport uh, for donations uh, through the city of Revere I handle, um, and prior to that was Charlestown. I've been on and off the board for um, roughly about 15 years. Uh, forgive me, I have a cold, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry about that. And prior to that, um, I years ago I've worked for um, uh, the, the, the city of uh, uh, Boston uh, under Kevin White uh, back then, and I got involved with the community back then, got into my own business, and I used to direct and oversee all the plumbing and heating and work with Aspire Enterprise, and I used to handle their um, zoning um, documentations in regards to building then. I got into building myself and that group, and then from there, um, I got into Massport. So you have a, a background in, in, in building, and you, ha you have a note where it all is to what, need, what is needed and what is required. And I'm sure you uh, have the sensitivity for the people's needs when so the, the occasion so exists. Uh, I was one of the individuals that went to the forefront to have that haunted house rehabbed and, and, and saw the vision that what could be there. And I'm very thankful that oh, thank uh, you. it's attracted people like yourself to it because it was a, pretty much uh, left in dire need for some help. Thank and uh, the neighborhood at first was apprehensive. But again, uh, on this side of the fence, you have to have a little bit of ability to uh, know beyond the point uh, of reasoning. So Yes. Uh, hopefully. Any members of the city council wish to speak? Council Powers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm sure that you uh, you heard my uh, comments with Mr. Through Mr. Lopes uh, I have previously, yes. and uh, I, I will say this to you: uh, your, your experience uh, is well taken. Uh, and what really strikes me as uh, very important uh, to the city of Revere is the fact that uh, being affiliated and uh, being with Massport. Uh, through different uh, positions. Uh, you certainly uh, know of the uh, traffic problems that uh, plague uh, not only uh, East Boston and Massport, but also uh, the city of Revere, Correct. particularly. And uh, uh, it would be comforting to know that uh, down the road, uh, whatever uh, may come before you, you certainly uh, would uh, consider you know, uh, those problems that we're experiencing right now, because uh, right now we're severely impacted by traffic, particularly uh, along the boulevard and 1A. And, uh, most of this traffic is going right, not most, but a lot of it is going uh, to uh, Massport. And uh, I hope uh, on any uh, votes that you may have to take uh, as a member of the Zoning Board of Appeals, you would uh, certainly uh, consider the impact that uh, uh, traffic does have uh, in the city of Revere and uh, other communities. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Any you other councilors wishing to speak? Seeing uh, Councillor Rotundo. 
Hello, sir. How are you today? Good afternoon. Thank you for uh, attending, and more importantly, your participation. Excuse me, I too yes, thank have you. a cold. Uh, with that said, uh, my one question that I have to you is uh, relevant to your past work history, in which you had stated you worked for uh, Mayor Kevin White. Is that correct? That is correct. And to what degree did you work for him, directly, indirectly, or in what type of relationship did you have with him? With Kevin White, I was one of the originals. Uh, we, we were the founders of EDIC, which is uh, over in South Boston. Mm -hmm. And um, prior to that, um, I was, at a very young age, I worked for the Boston Naval Shipyard at the time. And when I was working at the Boston Naval Shipyard, Kevin White and his staff were looking for a group that was associated with the uh, Boston Naval Shipyard at the time. And he wanted to build, as you, his vision was to uh, build the city of Boston. And this particular area, um, he wanted uh, to keep it, um, shall I say, somewhat in the shipping in industry, which Massport got involved at the time. I wasn't working with Massport at that time. Are you time. talking down by the Black uh, Falcon Pier? Black Falcon Pier. So it was um, Boston Naval, well, it was, excuse me, the Army base area at the time. So I came on board with EDIC at the time, and it was called the original 13. I was one of the original 13s at the time. I was a very young man at the time. I was a, at, I was a master pipe fitter at a very young age, and uh, that's why they brought me on board. So my, my question is directly related to your relationship to Kevin White, not anything extraneous to that? Did you have a personal relationship with them at all? Not really, sir. That's, and the reason why I ask you that um, is we currently have a developer that uh, his son is actually the developer. And so I, I need to know ahead of time because that could be a potential conflict of interest. No, no sir. I thank you for your frankness. Thank Any you. other councils wish to speak? Seeing none, uh, it seems, sir, like you're very much qualified and it seems that there's a, a, a talking to the chair earlier he needs uh, bodies on that board as soon as possible. We're going to vote you out. Uh, I'm going to ask for, in a few seconds, for a vote from this council, and then we're going to ask you to stay on later on tonight. I usually ask you to, you no know, need to stay in attendance, but when the mayor comes, he will meet with the city clerk and see if they're going to sway you in right away because we need you to be seated on Wednesday night. That's fine, sir. There's a motion on the floor to approve. All in favor? All opposed? So uh, you'll be, you'll be uh, voted out favorably to the subcommittee, to the committee of the whole this evening. No need to uh, do anything else until you, you hear our vote. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Do a good job for our community. Next is 17408, appointment of Vanessa Bayasella, 10 Robert Street, to the Cultural Council. Vanessa, please come to the podium and state your name and address the record, please. Vanessa Bayasella, 10 Robert Street. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Vanessa. I'm in a master's program at Salem State in History and Education. I'm involved in my neighborhood group. I have four sons, and I own a home in North Riviera. Uh, my daughter graduated Salem State, so automatically you've got everything going for you. <laughs> Any questions for the membership of the City Council? Councilor Charlie Patch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I've known Vanessa, got to know Vanessa the last couple of years, uh, working with the uh, North Riviera neighborhood uh, group and plus other events up there, and uh, clean, whether it's a cleanup or anything, Vanessa, her husband Michael, uh, are always uh, there for support and uh, for the people of North Riviera, and uh, uh, I think she'll be, she'll fit very well into this position. Uh, she's, uh, I know she's got a full plate now with uh, studying for a master's degree, uh, but uh, I'm sure she always finds the time for the community. So I would uh, hope my colleagues will support her tonight. Thank you. Any other members of the council wishes? Uh, Councilor uh, Vice President Patrick Keefe. Uh, thank you, <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, too, uh, like Councilor Patch, have gotten to know Vanessa and her family over the last few years. Um, always involved in ongoings with the city of Riviera on a positive, positive note. Uh, volunteers uh, much of her time and uh, definitely think she'll be a positive influence on the cultural council. So she has my vote of support tonight. Thank you. Councilor Murabito. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I echo the same bonuses that my colleague said to you. Um, you're very passionate. Um, when you put your heart into something, you give it your all. Not only you, but 
your whole family takes part. So um, they don't have a you're choice. definitely a leader in that aspect of getting everyone involved. <laughs> so I think you'll be an asset. So you got my vote. Thank you. Any of the councilors wishing to speak? Seeing none, I will say that Vanessa met you earlier this evening, and you seem to be a, a wonderful young lady, and, and I know you're going to do great things for the cultural society, and we're going to look forward to your many years of service to our community, and thank you for putting yourself out in, in place to help do public service. It's rewarding in the end. You'll, you'll see that in a few years, and uh, congratulations. We will vote you out favorably this evening as Committee of the Whole. There's no need for you to stay in attendance because there's no urgency to get you placed or uh, sworn in. So if you want to stay, we'd love to have you. Is there a motion on the floor to approve? All in favor, all opposed, so ordered. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for your attendance. Appreciate it. And finally, 17409, appointment of Robert Bent, 103 Elliott Street, Disability Commission. Hi, Robert. State Hi. your name and address for the record, please. What is it? I'm sorry, what is it? Stay in, state your name and address. Robert Bent. Um, I live at 103 Elliott Road in Revere. Been there about four and a half years. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Robert? Um, I'm 44. I grew up in East Boston. I've been in the wheelchair my whole entire life. That's one of the reasons I want to be on this committee, because I just think that, you know, being disabled, whether it's in a wheelchair or it's other disabilities, they're important. And I think I can make a difference in this, in this, um, and not only in this committee, but in this community. Well, the chair said he uh, knows you well and he, he recognizes you, the, the support you will add to the commission. And certainly it's a, a great thing that you're coming forward to help in our community to do public service, which is a great uh, thing to do for our city. And at this time, I'll ask any members of the count Councilor Morabito. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just want to say I had the opportunity to speak to Mr. Bent several times. Um, I know his wife as well. Um, he expressed his passion to want to serve on the committee, and um, the committee seems to like like him from what, when they interviewed him. So I'm in favor of this appointment. Any other councilors wishing to speak? Councilor Rotundo. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you for participating. Um, having your perspective is going to lend a lot of uh, aid to Ralph and more importantly for uh, Mr. DeChico to recommend you comes on high praise. So welcome. Thank you. Any other counselors wishing to speak? Well, Robert, be prepared to do some work because Ralph is relentless. He, he's doing a, a tremendous job for the disability and, and disabled and he's, he's really uh, brought the, a new light to the commission and, and I applaud him for his efforts, but uh, he spoke to me earlier about you, and he was very anxious to see you on board to see what you can do to help. And I think, again, I, like I stated earlier, it's an admirable thing to do, to do public service, and you will find it self-rewarding at the end. You'll say, I made a difference, uh, and just one little thing is a big deal. So uh, congratulations. There's no need to you to stay in attendance this evening if you don't so wish to do so. We're going to vote you out favorably in the subcommittee. We'll vote this out in the whole this evening, and you'll be confirmed. So, uh, th again, uh, the mayor will contact you for a swearing-in process, but we will vote you out favorably this evening. Thank you very much. And like I, um, I just wanted to let you guys know, like I said, um, Councilman Marbido, I look forward to not only working with Ralph in the committee, but I look forward to working with all you guys, too. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All in favor? All opposed? So why did you vote it out favorably from the subcommittee? That concludes the appointment subcommittee for the meeting of November 27, 2017. Thanks for your attendance.